Today I'll be showing you how to download a Microsoft Office template and use it on your computer. And to demonstrate this, we're going to be downloading a template that I created and submitted to the Microsoft Office community. So all you have to do if you want to use the same template that I'm using is to navigate to the direct link. And to make that easier for you, I will be including that link in the description of this YouTube video. But once you're here, all you've got to do is click the download button to download that template from Microsoft.com. And if you are using Internet Explorer 9 like I am, you'll see a message that looks just like this. I'm going to click allow once and then try that download button one more time. Now it has begun the download process, which opens up the save as dialog box and asks you where you would like to save that file on your computer. Now the default location is going to be your templates folder for all of your Microsoft Office applications. Now this folder, I wouldn't recommend changing the location. This location is where all of your templates live. But for right now, I'm just going to save this under this name, or you can change the name of the template to something a little bit more meaningful if you like. I'm just going to leave it as is and click Save. And then Microsoft PowerPoint will save that template and then create a new presentation based off of that template and open it so you can use it. Now this particular template includes a sample of what you can create using the template. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that slide since I don't really need it. And then add a new slide. And as you can see within this template, there are four different styles I can choose from for creating a little picture, a four picture photo collage. And I'm going to choose the squares sidebar. Now before I start clicking these icons to add pictures, there is a setting in PowerPoint that I want to change that pertains to photo quality. By default, every time you insert a picture into PowerPoint, PowerPoint's going to try to compress that picture, reducing its quality to save file size. Now since I intend on printing this PowerPoint slide as an 8x10 photo, I do not want my images compressed. So I'm going to change that setting in PowerPoint by going up to the File tab, down to Options. In the Advanced section, under Image Size and Quality, here you'll see that right here, there's a checkbox to not compress images in the file. Make sure you have that checkbox checked if you plan on printing photos in PowerPoint. So with that checked, Go ahead, click OK, and now we can begin using our template to add pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this photo or picture icon right here, and that will take you to your pictures library by default. But I'm going to navigate to a folder here called Louie. Now Louie is a dog of one of my colleagues here at Train Signal, and he is just the sweetest, most talented dog you could ever find, and he's quite the athlete as you can see from the photos. But I'm just going to pick a photo to add to the background. And PowerPoint by default will make sure that photo fits within this picture frame. But if you are using PowerPoint 2010, you have a lot of great cropping and resizing tools that will adjust how that picture looks within that template frame. Now, if you're using PowerPoint 2007, you're going to get version envy here. Because the PowerPoint 2007 tools, you can't do what I'm about to show you. So selecting that picture on the Picture Tools Format tab, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Crop. There your cropping tool will show up and everything that's shaded gray is something that has that will be cropped with that photo. But you can grab hold, let me just zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. You can grab hold of the corner handlebars of the image to make the image larger within that frame. Or you can, when you're hovering your mouse over that image, you see that little move cursor, it's that four pointed arrow. You can use that to move or adjust how that picture is placed within that frame. So that's what my picture is going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and click crop and begin adding additional photos. So clicking this icon, let's add this picture right here. 
and I'm going to resize that one just a bit so you can see a little bit more of his face. Although I do want the tail in there. I think the tail is kind of important. Maybe a little bit like that. And now the next photo. Let's do this photo right here. Oh, I love how that's positioned. Maybe a little bit though. Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. And last photo. This time let's choose this one. And same thing, definitely want to move and resize this photo as well. There we go. Now, if you ever decide that one of the pictures that you put in one of these placeholders you don't like, you can always go back, delete it, and reinsert a new picture. For example, let's say I decide this top photo doesn't really go with the rest of the photos I have. Well, I can simply select that photo, press delete. PowerPoint will delete the photo, but keep the photo placeholder, allowing you to click the image to swap it out for another one. So let's pick a different photo. Crop and resize that photo as well. And there we go. Now, just because you are using a template doesn't mean that you can't use any of the picture styles or artistic effects available to you in PowerPoint 2007 or PowerPoint 2010. So let's say I wanted to make these three photos all grayscale. Well, I can select all three photos by holding down my shift key and then selecting those photos. Then going up to my color tab, or drop down menu from my picture tools format tab and select grayscale. I can also adjust in an individual picture by selecting that one picture and going to corrections to make it lighter, brighter, or apply individual picture or artistic effects. So totally up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and make some of these just a little bit brighter. You can also right click any picture, go to format picture, and from there on picture corrections, you'll see options to soften or sharpen, adjust brightness, contrast there as well. And the last thing I have here is a text box that I can maybe type in the subject's name, the date, etc. So I'm going to type in the name Louis and now I am finished. Now since my goal is to print this picture, if I have a photo printer hooked up to this machine I could just go ahead and print the slide right from within PowerPoint or if you want to send this to some place that will print photos for you, say Walgreens, you might want to save this as a JPEG file. If that's the case, I can go up to my File tab, click Save As, and where it says Save As Type PowerPoint Presentation, instead I can hit that drop down menu, choose JPEG, and I'm just going to title this Photo Louis Collage. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So clicking save. Once you click save, you might be met with a message like this. Do you want to export every slide in the presentation or only the current slide? If you've made multiple slides within this presentation, multiple photo collages, you can choose either option. You can choose every slide or whatever current slide you have selected. Right now it really won't make a difference for me, so I'm just going to choose current slide only. And then PowerPoint will save that as a JPEG image. So let me minimize this real quick. There's my picture, and when I open it up, that's what it looks like. So that is downloading a template from Microsoft Office, using a template, and saving an individual slide as a JPEG picture file. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again.